Demonic Angel. Uh, today's video is uh, just another tarot card. I'm using the Rider weight deck and uh, even though people kind of ask me about um, oh like are pentacles related uh, do you see it in a satanic way or the devil card um, when I'm doing tarot readings I'm not thinking about that or I'm not referencing that I'm reading these cards uh, according to traditional symbolism of course my own feelings and thoughts and intuition which makes you know my way of reading these cards unique but it's just that um, you know that that th this is a traditional meaning there's Christian Buddhist pagan symbolism Jewish symbolism in the tarot um, and I'm looking at it in that that way traditionally so today is uh, two Pentacles I thought I had done this one and then I looked through and I, I figured out that I hadn't so two is you know kind of representing our unions two of cups um, the two of swords with the you know the woman with the blindfold um, this is this is a neat card because it there's just so many different things that can come to mind like some cards are kind of direct like there's there's really just this certain way that you sh you know you can be looking at that and interpreting it but um, this card you know you can think of the guy holding the two pentacles as he's making a choice uh, he's trying to balance things he's trying to make a decision and it's it's really cool because it's kind of like whatever's gonna come to your mind about you know and you're looking at the other appropriate cards um, and he's dressed in his, his red and his orange and that has to do with um, uh, passion, fire, the uh, element so he's really connected to the mundane world he's um, this represents his passion for life because you know it's upright and um, the infinity symbol we only see that in two other cards the strength and the magician um, so the ebb and flow of the the water behind him the tides good times and bad times there's life and death um, one choice you know leads to a whole butterfly effect of changing your life in one way but even if you don't make a choice many times that's still a choice in itself that leads to a whole nother um, infinite possible so the, the possibilities are just infinite and you know that that is uh, represented here um, he's, he's kind of standing on one foot so this is even even in the upright position we have this warning that he's like he looks like he's juggling and so he's juggling his uh, family life career um, spiritual life with uh, the mundane and he could easily fall off balance but in in the upright he's he's not so he's juggling all these different facets of his life um, appropriately and making that flow happen so um, y you know we've got the tide coming in and and, um, and coming out going out and then we have the, the the ships here right and they're just sailing along and this is another kind of like the ideas of uh, the camels and the horses that the the tarot people um, ride is just indicating travel that this is a there's always travel on the high seas um, and that forward momentum that, that really um, when we look at the Pentacles suit there's a lot of um, these kinds of imageries about that momentum 
of keeping moving and and that's in here because this is con connected to the mundane world to reality you know pentacles is how you um, are handling all these different aspects of your actual life um, so those are, are coming and you know things like that is, is uh, comes and goes in waves now things that that I've when I read this I look into are that he what so that saying when it rains it pours uh, so when it's bad and it's tough, you get sick, and then your bills are due, and you fail a class, you get late to work, your car breaks down, and it all happens together at the same time. And you just feel frustrated. That's okay, because eventually the, the tide is going to pick up for you. Um, because it, it, that happens to, to all of us, those periods of time. And then it's like when things are going good, you find money on the ground and then uh, you, know, you get a raise um, you go on a, a date so everything goes well together that's because things are, are cyclic um, so this guy to be truly balanced like he is he understands that he'll be young for a while but he you know he he contemplates things like getting old so that he can be balanced as as uh, as things come along because this is the ebb and flow of our, our daily lives so he is kind of I mean he's like a young man let's say he's in his uh, 30s 40s and um, this mundane kind of life is this guy at this age, right? He's busy with a career, he's probably busy with the family, um, traveling, um, and the daily grind, okay? So because this is the daily grind, he's not sitting there thinking and, and having um, you know this time like he's not the hermit and he's not he's also not um, partying with people or, or whatever he's just in that this is the daily grind this is um, all these different aspects of normal life um, that he he juggles and and a lot of times when we think about people in that kind of stage of their lives uh, they're they're really they they're young and they have that kind of energy to balance all that, but that's the downside is they don't have that time to sit, like downtime to sit and think so much. We're talking about a typical person at this age, so things can just kind of time can get away from them, right? Like they might miss out, let's say, on their kids' baseball games because they're too busy doing all these other things, juggling all these other things. Um, another way, you know, thing to think about, too, is that, you know, like if it's somebody's making a decision, should I stay, should I go? Um, and they're balancing the pros and cons. Um, so they haven't made that decision because they're trying to really feel and imagine what it would be like to live either possibility and so that they're they're juggling the, that decision um, this can also be like uh, what I've seen before uh, is people you know let's say you're juggling a secret like let's say depression uh, an addiction and at that stage right now um, or you know you've just got three different jobs so you don't get much sleep. You know, people haven't found out about y your addiction or the depression, the untreated depression is not a huge problem right now, but eventually it's going to be because you can only balance something like that for so long. So it's so it is that I I'm kind of 
I'm keeping a secret. I am handling something that um, I hide from people and uh, eventually you know you're going to need help. The secret will be revealed. Um, it's just going to be it's going to have to come out into the light. So reversed. Uh, this is he drops the balls. <laughs> Um, they're they're not balanced. This is just and because we're here at the the kind of the beginning of the the suit still, um, we're still seeing a, a, an opportunity to change. So this is hey reassess your priorities. Like um, if you do need help with some hidden issue. Um, because you just feel like you're juggling it, listen to that inner voice that says, hey, just go get help. Because without juggling something that is too heavy to carry, your life is just going to be much better. So, you know, kind of s stop, pause, and reassess. And, uh, you know, perhaps um, think about and maybe this person is querent and they need that time to go back and think um, to kind of be alone and reassess. Uh, you know, other things like, um, other, you know, let's say somebody's struggling with sexuality and they're balancing, hey, should I tell my family, should I not? It's just any of those kinds of things that this this reversed is this point though where it's getting too painful to be kept um, inside and so it gonna it's going to manifest no matter how you choose to deal with that it's going to start to manifest externally um, and you want to best control that by acknowledging it um, and that's kind of how we as people uh, integrate information and then have a sort of control over how it will manifest. Because if it's unacknowledged, um, if it's hidden, it, then it manifests in these these sadder ways, harder ways um, that we all know about. So it, it's just really that that kind of an idea. Um, if if somebody is just juggling, um, they they've taken on too much work to do, and now they don't have time for themselves. They don't have any time to sit and play a video game to uh, really think, because we all kind of need. No matter what you do, you need five minutes to sit and think. You need. Uh, time to go for a walk and if you don't have that that's eventually going to kind of crack your mind a little bit it's not going to be good for your mental health because it's just so vital that we all have five minutes every day to just sit and be and and without that um, people lose their sense of time and space um, and and then that's kind of how people say gosh how did 10 years go by because they weren't living in that moment, taking that, that you know, him upright. He's living completely in this moment, and, and he's juggling all these things, but he knows this is this busy time in his life. And so because he kind of acknowledges that, and he can separate and, you know, put different resources and time to each thing appropriately, this is not, this is just, I'm overwhelmed, um, time passes by, time slips through your hands when you're not paying attention to your own self. And so, um, you know, that, that really is kind of some of the, the meanings here. And this is a great card, like I said, it can be two choices, uh, hiding an aspect of oneself, um, balancing balancing the spiritual and the physical, balancing work life and home life, um, balancing logic and, and emotion. So, you know, you just kind of go with what you feel makes most sense in that kind of scenario. 
sorry for the noise in the background earlier. Uh, something just fell behind me. Um, and uh, that, that's all that was. And then my dog, he, he got a little scared. So um, I end up comforting him probably, probably more than he makes me feel safe. But that's what little dogs are for, right? Uh, I'll see you guys later.